Well, I got another certificate. <clears throat> so Linux Plus certification. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, and one of the things too, uh, I'm currently, well, I think I'm still currently Red Hat certified. Uh, it's expiring soon. And I probably won't re, uh, re up my Red Hat um, just because I have some other things going on right now. Red Hat's expensive and it's a really hard test. Um, so <clears throat> Linux Plus is multiple choice uh, and they have some performance, I guess, ones, I think is what they call it, uh, where it's kind of like an image. You can drag things different places, that type of stuff. Um, so, yeah, where Red Hat, it's very much it's a hands on. Uh, you have a couple systems. You need to do something to it. Usually there's some uh, something's broken or there's just something that's even stopping you from starting. Um, uh, it, it's it's interesting. The first time I took that test, uh, there was a group of us uh, that had paid to uh, do the the prep for Red Hat, and uh, at the end we took the test uh, in a proctored environment. But we were all there together. Uh, at the beginning of the test, uh, someone got really frustrated. Less than like ten minutes in, uh, obviously they couldn't uh, eat, get past the the major issue that even stopped you from starting the test and they just uh got up in a proctored environment said a few things rather loudly about how this was a joke and stomped out um it, but red hat is a really good certification um uh, i'm letting it expire because I, I have some other things going on um but i got linux plus uh so whenever i get a cert uh, I like to share it on LinkedIn. Uh, Linux Plus is an entry level cert. Once again, once again, I'm getting these uh, because I, I want to know how likely my students uh, that I teach uh, could get them. So um, it's kind of a little research uh, thing that I'm doing myself to try and figure out uh, what I want to do uh, with with students that I teach. Um, but yeah, I post it to, of course to LinkedIn. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, CompTIA's Linux Plus. Um, so you can get stuff right from them. Uh, I did buy a book, um, and I, I didn't spend much time at all in the book. And I realized as I went, uh, in fact, let's just pull this up. Uh, so I, I usually type in whenever I'm going to do a test, uh, the name of the test, uh, but exam objectives. And unfortunately <laughs> I, I got the 004 ones. Yeah, this is. Uh, and I, 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 that's still open. I could have taken it, but 005 is the newer one. Um, and these exam objectives, uh, I looked over it. I didn't, uh, worry too much. Uh, it looks, uh, fine for me. And I, I, I didn't think I'd have much problem. I, I've worked with Linux for quite a while. Um, <laughs> but I said to take number five. And if you look here, hardware system configuration, I actually do less of this. Uh, than almost anything else because uh, oftentimes I'm just it's working with images or things in the cloud. I don't deal much with the hardware, um, so that's something that 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 I personally had to work a little bit on to make sure I was okay because um, it's, it's a decent chunk of the test. But operating system maintenance, no problem. Security, no problem. Uh, Linux troubleshooting, diagnostics. That that for me, they didn't have a problem. Automated inscription and scripting, fine. Uh, so those are things that. Uh, that I didn't worry about much. The only one I worried about a little bit on this one was hardware and system configuration. So I figured I was I was pretty safe. Um, you know, let me just make this bigger. So exam uh, objective domains. So and then as you go down through, um, it, it gets some more specific. But this is the this is the one I looked at when I first thought oh, I'm going to take this. Um, and then a day or two before, I realized you know what? I'm taking the newer version. So let's take a peek at that. And as I look here uh, at the domains, I had a rude awakening. Uh, system management. So this is uh, they combine some things. This is the hardware stuff, uh, and and some of the things. Thirty-two uh, percent. So I need to work a little bit there because of the hardware portion of that. Security. I think I'm fine. Scripting, containers, and uh, scripting containers and automation. Um, I haven't worked a ton with containers. A little bit. Very little bit. So that had me worried because uh, now I have two 
weaknesses in this uh, in the exam objectives. You might have all the weaknesses um, depending on the level of your career. Um, but I've worked with Linux long enough. So looking at system uh, management, go ahead and look. So file system hierarchy, I have a pretty good understanding of that. Uh, I usually go to Wikipedia um, uh, with my students because it has a really good uh, definitions of, of what these are for and where you should put things and why. Um, but I'm going to show you some other things. So boot processes, storage things. So this was something I was expecting from the 04 exam anyway. Uh, so it wasn't too bad. Um, given scenarios, do certain things. So it, if you look when you're at this, it mentions given a scenario. Um, given a scenario. So that should cue you into kind of the type of questions that they might be asking. Um, but they, that, I mean, this is a, it's a lot of them. Given a scenario. Uh, then security, summarize. So uh, so that kind of gives you a, a different level. I was hoping we'd, well, um, uh, I, I like this area. So this, um, I wish it was a greater percentage of the exam, but um, manage execute, uh, remote systems, uh, firewalls. And I, I like that they list firewall D, IP tables, uh, NFT NF tables and uncomplicated firewall. Um, so you can try and make sure you're familiar with all of those. Given a scenario, apply the appropriate access controls. So that's, once again, I didn't worry too much about that. Some of these uh, I don't use often. In fact, they drive me crazy when people use them. Um, like get file ACL, set file ACL, um, uh, chatter, uh, LS adder. So uh, some of them, may, I, I just don't like it when we have to go to that level. Now there's other ways we can do it too. Um, scripting containers automation. So this is where, um, uh, honestly, it had me a little bit worried the night before as I as I realized, shoot, I need to do the, the containers part. Scripting, fine. Uh, all this stuff I've worked with before, uh, I didn't have, I didn't think, I wasn't worried about that, but I was worried about this part. Um, so if you haven't used containers before, make sure you play with them. Um, and, but yeah, it looks, it, it's not a huge area, but it's something that's, uh, I haven't used a lot. So I do more in the cloud uh, and I like cloud native rather than uh, containers is really, if you're worried about the cloud that you're using, uh, if you're worried about them, um, uh, a single point of failure is your cloud. Uh, so clouds are so um, redundant. Uh, that's not as big of a deal. But when you're talking about a single point of failure, you're also worried about what if they raise the prices on me? Now, for the most part, that doesn't make sense. Um, they're doing their best to do things better and lower the prices to be competitive. Uh, but it, it is a concern that someone might have. But you also might, what if a, a cloud system gets attacked by hackers and gets brought down. So they're, they have really good security. Um, so they're, they're working on things, but yeah, that's a, a concern that a big company would, would need to have. And so maybe you want to have it in multiple clouds and, and including on type on site. So containers really make a lot of sense there. Um, or, or if you just don't want to have to worry about the, if you want to switch cloud uh, providers, you want to make it easy containers make more sense. Uh, I, I personally like cloud native cloud first. Um, so given a scenario, perform the basic uh, uh, with Git. So I've used Git some, uh, haven't used it as much as I should. Um, uh, YAML, uh, JSON, awesome. So these are were pretty, but uh, I have not used uh, these utilities as much as I should. Um, so uh, th there's just things to, that, that were there that I didn't quite expect. And then, of course, the troubleshooting stuff. So anyway, it was pretty, uh, uh, it was a decent test. Wasn't, uh, I was more worried about it uh, when I started taking it than when I finished. So that was good. Uh, one of the things with CompTIA uh, and with IT in general, we love our acronyms. Um, and they just, uh, if you don't know the acronyms uh, that they throw at you in a question, if you don't know them, then it's really hard to answer the question. So one of the things that I like to do is 
uh, make sure I know as much of these as possible. And even if you know them, sometimes when you see them in the question, um, it's it's hard to think. So um killer um out of memory. If I saw that in a question, if it wasn't worded a certain way, I might think, Ooh, shoot, what does that stand for again? Um, most of these others, uh, some of them I know really well, JSON, but Oom, I just haven't really seen it in sentences like that. And so you just see Oom and you're like, well, shoot, what's that? Um, anyway, uh, it, it's a pretty good test. Um, definitely uh, doable for um, entry level. Um, but not, not easy for entry level. Um, so, um, anyway, uh, I'm going to be doing more, uh, things I did to prepare for it. This guy's pretty cool. In fact, I should probably like and subscribe to him. Um, I, I really don't, don't need to watch these videos, but, um, I, I might, uh, refer some of my students to these videos. It's, he's started, he's not getting through them as fast as I'd like. He's not uh, even through uh, the, the first part. So he's on system control with system D. Um, but this is the newer test. So, um, and uh, I found his videos decent. Um, yeah, I found them good. I found that they were good. Um, so, but yeah, he's way up here. Um, so I hope that uh, he gets through more because I honestly don't want to create these videos. Um, and he's doing a, a, a better job than I would do. Um, so I do like more hands-on when I do them. I think you, you can see my Linux videos. I'm going to be creating another uh, lin uh, another playlist of Linux videos probably halfway through uh, 2023 um, that kind of go a little more along the Red Hat line. Um, but uh, yeah, this for Linux Plus is pretty good. Um, so if you're going to study for Linux Plus, um, I would suggest going through his videos, um, getting some, uh, ex I like practice exams to try and see where your um, skills are at, but I have seen problems with practice exams. Some of them, the answers aren't correct, um, depending on where you get them from. So just be careful. Um, once you get a certificate, post them on LinkedIn, um, Get uh, it gets helps advertise who you are also helps advertise the certificate so there's kind of a, a dual benefit there um and i hope you've enjoyed this video we'll have a new uh, another one soon